guys, that's your command today in Raid Shadow Legends. I am not alone. I'm joined by Scratch. Scratch, what's up, bro? How you doing? Yo, doing great, Ash. Nice to nice to be here. Yeah, we we taken a little break from a little hiatus from our weekly uh, collabs. It's been like a month, man. I know, right? Missed you, buddy. Same, bro. Same. <laughs> uh, that was weird. How are things, man? How are things? Yeah, pretty good, man. Pretty good, good. actually. Yeah, just how could this happen? chugging still away, kicking basically. You know, still kicking. What's the matter, Cubby? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Give me a little sugar. Get long. <laughs> I wanted to have you on to talk about Curse City. I had a, a very interesting, I did two community uh, tab polls on my YouTube mm. channel, right? One, about a week after it went live, how do you enjoy the Curse City uh, content so far? About 80% of people said they enjoyed it, which for Plarium, that is probably their second most popular update of all time, I would say, after yep. the Doom Tower. And then just today, a couple hours ago, so only a, 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 over a thousand votes, but I think this sentiment is pretty, usually with community tab polls, whatever you see in the first hour pretty much plays out. Yeah. So it's more like 50-50, right? 52% uh, enjoy, 48% don't really enjoy. Uh, and mm. then some comments about how to improve it. And the reason I'm behind all this is I kind of wanted to share here what 40, 50 days in or whatever it is right now. I wanted to share my own sentiment uh, very candidly about Curse City because, frankly, I think there's a lot to love about this update, and there's also a lot to be desired about, about this update. And, I, and we haven't talked about this at all off camera. Both of our times are kind of limited, so we just jumped on the collab. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to get your genuine, uh, fresh thoughts on this as well. Uh, first off, I want to kind of rewind. Way back when I was interviewing Cirilla, I don't know, four or five months ago, she said, and maybe I'm being nitpicky here because I really value the opportunity to interview Plarian. Like, truthfully, you know, if I don't get all the answers I want to, uh, it's, it's great. It's great to have that communication but with that said oh no here we go again here we go again she said it was gonna be bigger than doom tower i want to start by asking you do you feel that it was bigger than than doom tower not at all no no you are getting a lot of stuff from it honestly but it, it doesn't compare to it and the main the main reason is in terms of rewards as well like the average player right most of the players and the average player is the 90 95 percent of the player base right it's just are just people that casually play the game they have their fun you know and uh, they tend to value summons more they tend to value different sort of rewards more than the gear or give me a chaos or some oils from a from a from the cursed city you know comparing it to the doom tower where you're getting books you're getting shards you know and the next thing is that you have all these different levels that are extremely extremely hard to beat where only a small handful of people from the entire game are able to beat them because they're so time consuming Ugh. and challenging at the same time you know you, you need a perfect uh stance all the time like you need the entire universe to align in your favor you know and to get the stance perfectly to to beat some of the stages and the problem with that in my opinion is that most of the biggest rewards are locked behind it now to me if i remember it correctly the new content promised to bring new primal shards as rewards and we're not getting any primal shards from here instead they've made a brand new currency and honestly this currency is so rare and is locked behind some of the toughest stages you're getting 40 if i'm not mistaken from one of the stages alone how many have you opened of these cursed city shards or whatever they are three so far like you can get to a month basically that's it yeah yeah that's, that's where i am too okay i wasn't sure if yet. you beat everything if you beat everything so that that means 101 out of 101 if you miss one stage that's it you're not getting them you know i agree first of all in, in comparison to doom tower like listen maybe maybe i'm just splitting hairs here and maybe it's it's irrelevant right because it's clearly mm. the second biggest uh yeah, update to is. doom tower right yeah but doom tower you know i has 120 floors most importantly it has like what it, it launched with six unique bosses i think um mm -hmm. whereas we have one fairly underwhelming boss in my opinion at least uh here in in cursed city so there's more floors 101 uh areas i guess right in in cursed city and two levels of difficulty and doom tower was 120 floors with a lot more bosses and two areas of difficulty plus the secret rooms on top of that right so yeah i don't think it's you know i don't think it's the biggest update but even in the background right now you can't see a scratch I'm assuming you beat the two more to macabre uh, wave this this rotation. This rotation, I'm still left literally oh. with stage 13, 14, 20, 18, 19, 24, 21. The reason for it, I just didn't have the time to do it. You know, hey, listen, so we're end game here, but odds are most of you guys are going through the same thing somewhere in Curse City, right? 
Dude, I've tried this for probably two or three hours at this point, right? And I'm doing it in the background, just trying to land my stuns, the stupid Mortimer cops. The one time I got through this wave, I didn't have my rotations, you know, down just because of RNG. And then I just got toasted in the second wave, and I'm like, ah! Anyway, uh, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I want to pause and just talk about what I, well, I want to talk about the community. Well, I already showed the community tab poll. So we're not in the, the only ones who feel this way. In today's video, I want to like have a chat with you, A, about not just our feelings and not just like crapping on the update, but also talking about what we would change. Because when we had that, remember that behind closed doors meeting that we had that we were not allowed to talk about really? <laughs> we yeah. can say we had the meeting, but we can't really share uh, most of the stuff. Not that there was a lot of like breaking news or anything, but we had it. We yeah, had it, well, an opportunity. it wasn't really nothing. We <laughs> had an opportunity to give some <laughs> candid feedback to the developers and hear their answers, you know, but nothing like groundbreaking that I don't even know if I would make a video if I could share all the info. But one mm. thing they did say, which I got permission to, I guess, say is not even breaking news, but they said that like this is V1 of Curse City and yep. they're they're going to do they're going to do a lot. They're going to look at it. They're going to they everything's on the table is the quote from them. Everything's on this table. We're talking adding bosses getting rid of the double bosses adding new bosses at different rewards different mechanisms different areas all kinds of stuff so that was encouraging you know i'm interested to see so like i wanted to provide some of that feedback today like what would make it a bit more compelling because just cutting to the chase here for me scratch i mean this is a perfect it's not the only stage s21 of this rotation but it's one of them that it's just like the, it's not fun to me at all you know listen I do like a couple things about it. I think the rewards are great. Outside of the primal, I agree with you in the primal shards, but like, as long as you're just doing what you can, it's a bunch of rewards for no energy that we didn't have access to before. Yep. So there's no complaints there, man. Like, that's it. And it gives the opportunity to invest in, to look at, to experience, to use champions that you might have had in your vault, right? So... Mm -hmm. There's a lot to like. There's a lot to give credit where credit is due, I feel like, in this update. Rewards, no energy, fantastic, right? Uh, yeah. However, man, it feels very, to me, it just doesn't, I, I'm just gonna come out and say it as blunt as I possibly can, man. After, after two months almost of it, it just doesn't feel fun to go in here and hope for a 23% stun to land every time, you know? Cause that's really what it comes down to. It, it, do you agree? Yeah, it, it, it's definitely like that. And the main issue for me is that uh, you need to move so much gear. Like, I, I have a bit of an Ugh. OCD, okay? Maybe it's just me. But I don't think it's necessarily an OCD uh, wanting to have your account in order. And that, I feel like, is for every player, regardless if you have a bit of an OCD or no. But you have to move so much gear. It's so, it's so costly in terms of the silver. And the problem with all this is that next rotation, when this the exact same rotation comes back, you know, like in a few months, sorry. Yep, you gotta move it all back. You gotta move it all back. The game will not even remember what champions you used, you know? So you're gonna have to scratch your head and be like, oh my God, do I need to take all this thing over again? But so I burned over 150 million silver with the very first rotation, moving into the second, you know? Yep. I'm this, the same boat, this, man. This is crack and silver, okay? The average player will not have this amount of silver anywhere close to it. And it's not because... I just went and threw silver around, you know, I just had to, yeah. you know, I had to move gear. I had to rebuild a lot of champions to beat some of the toughest stages, you know, and yeah, it is uh, very silver consuming and uh, very time consuming. So they could definitely implement uh, quite a few different uh, changes that that uh, will help with this. One of them will be to uh, save, save the team. So I know they don't want to do it for all the game where you can move gear from champion to champion with a click, save profiles, but this game mode desperately needs uh safe profile feature where i built tranda with the uh, oh, savage set yeah and she's part of this team well in five rotations from here i'm gonna click on that tranda equip or use use this and bang she comes she comes in with the exact same gear that she had that doesn't take me silver because i've already paid it once and save that profile for masteries for builds and it's the masteries as well if you don't have fearsome presence on all of your stun sets you'll be in a uh, in pain you know so we need we need this desperately for this game mode in order to be enjoyable for the players uh a hundred percent man i'm glad you touched on that because that's exactly where i wanted to go next man it's like mm. okay that's number two if they're gonna have it this way i mean you basically took the words right out of my mouth that's the next thing i have written down here on my is is 
there needs to be some sort of a solution to listen i think it's as much as i'd love to have it and i'm sure the audience will be clamoring for it the majority of people watching like yes i would love to have free gear removal right more often once a week heck yep. even even once a month like the first week of every first weekend of every month that way we can can actually make those changes to for curse city specifically uh but even beyond that i just don't think they're gonna do it i mean i hope they do i just don't I think, think they're going to so they should give us they should give us like a, an alternate build at half off at the very least so you know there's we already have the tags for two builds per champion on each champion why don't you just save a build and then you can mule all those artifacts over for maybe a discount or something i don't know like i'm trying to find some happy middle ground here that player actually might go for no that's not how money works there needs to be a solution to the gear muling, man. I mean, there's so many other problems too, but I agree with you. Yeah, I feel like they could they could just focus to do it on a, on this game mode. And I know people want free gear removal in all the game. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with it. But I don't think it will happen. So being realistic, I feel like if they at least do it for this game mode, it needs to be done. And the free gear removal as well, it's still good to have it every weekend. It would be amazing, you know? Uh, at the moment, I think they are doing it with every single rotation that starts, at least so far, that's how it looked like it. But the main problem it is that the game will not remember what you had. And this is the most time-consuming part of constantly rebuilding the exact same champions over and over and over and over again with the same sort of uh, stats, basically. Just changing your gear and making a mess on your account. So right now, if you're looking at your account, probably, you're going to notice that half of them have no gear because you moved so much gear from champion to champion that you don't even know what's happening anymore, you know? I'm, at least most of the people will be in that situation. It's even hard to keep track on uh, what champions didn't have gear removed, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no, no, for sure. They don't and, have the gear removed, yeah. It's, uh... No, and it, and it seems like overall, it seems like even though this is what we're kind of talking about, like the constructive feedback around gearing and stuff like that, mm. it seems like just reading through these comments so far, it's. It, I think people have a challenge also with the diversity of champions necessary to, com to complete it. You know, even in normal, right? Because I don't know how many your average account has, how many champions and your average account has built at this point, but... Clearly, it's not enough to be able to progress, even if you do have the right gear and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's meant to be endgame content anyway. So, in a way, like, that's kind of understandable. But I can only imagine just being roadblocked by champions you just don't have. You know, like, wanting to enjoy, you know, the content or being close. And just being like, okay, I need a rare from freaking Sylvan Watchers or I'm never going to progress, you know? It can be oddly too restrictive at the same time. I don't know. Like, maybe there's, maybe normal mode. There's actually a comment somewhere here. Maybe, there, here it is, right here. Maybe normal mode shouldn't have the same restrictions or less restrictions, you know? That way people mm. could at least enjoy the content a bit, fix the silver issue, you know, a lot of comments too about the silver, you know? My whole thing is, I want to get back to the, the concept in general though. Like, what do you feel, how do you feel, Scratch, about the double bosses? Like, do you think that is interesting to you? Is it compelling to you? I'll be very honest, I don't necessarily find it very strategic i don't feel like i need to think about it too much i tend to just but that's mainly because i have a whale account you know i feel like it might is, is definitely different for for the rest but True, from I'm my sure, like me you're just looking at what the top teams use okay i have most of those champions i, I don't even look at there. that i just <laughs> okay if i have if i have like some of the op champions available from with uh, on a, the actual restrictions i'm just dragging them in there and maybe i and have to manually yeah yeah but i'm i'm, I'm really not putting any any thought into how to do it now for Amy as the boss is different right I actually have to manual I have to pay attention to everything that's happening is a is a bit more uh, more complex what I don't like about Amy is that he's a mythical boss he changes forms the metamorph and he's looking exactly the same so I, I find that very lazy at least just give him a different color or something man like just give him something to I don't know to look different because he's using a metamorph you know like he's he should be looking a bit different you know like make him a uh, i don't know glow blue instead of red or do something <laughs> else to, to him. just so you, you see the difference as well that you just want that feel that vibe of like okay this is an epic battle and you know this meets mm. the mythical kind of standards yeah pretty much 
I, I wish I could tell you, but I just like, I don't do it. Like I don't do breathing, like breathing just happens. Isn't there something like, for me though, there's just something kind of, it's hard to put my finger on it, but there's just kind of something missing. It doesn't feel super exciting. I, I know I'm being I, a little I bit was, nitpicky I here, was, you know? You literally just took the, the word out of my mouth. I was yeah. gonna say, is no excitement. And the reason for it is you, you're picking your stages, you're going around to the bosses, but I feel like this has to do with the actual rewards, honestly, because well, I do think the rewards are great, right? Like you're getting a lot of a lot of things, but these rewards are not creating excitement, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm getting 100 energy that I'm going to burn in like five seconds. It's not it's yeah. no excitement there. I'm going to get half the silver needed to gear my champions for this stage. Yeah, 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 sure. But when you see, oh, I'm getting a sacred shard, you know, like Doom Tower or just even with your daily, your daily logins or whatever from uh, whatever you're doing, you know, you're getting a shard. Oh, I cannot wait to get it, you know, because you have that that mindset that, that gives you that excitement that something good might come out of it, you know? Yeah. Like here, I go, I defeat a boss. Not not to sound like I'm complaining too much about the game mode, but because I do I do like it. I don't love it anymore like I initially I just Yeah, it, but I, I don't like want it. this video to, uh, to be one of those rant videos. It's more of like, mm. okay, since they're open to do anything, let's provide some feedback. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that, that has to do with the, the gear that you're getting from the bosses. So... My experience so far with it is that I'm getting 90, 90 to ninety-five percent of the gear five star man. I'm 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 doing an, the most end game content for five star gear that I'll never use. That's that literally kills all the excitement, you know. Yeah. Okay. So your your biggest issue is the rewards. First of all, I hear you on the uh, on the rewards, right? Some of them aren't bad. Like some of the rewards aren't bad at all, but mm. it's the most. And you touched on this earlier with the primal shards. It's like it's brand new content, and it should give us a mechanism to get the most scarce resources in the game like i i want to have a, a viable way uh to get mythical skill tomes to get yeah. like all to get the uh the uh, uh blessings right to get to get better blessings for my for my for my champions basically the stuff that like because iron twins man you gotta farm iron twins for a billion years especially as a free to play nothing, yeah. to get any good soul stones so uh, you know those in primal shards right like that's where the game is headed there's no doubt about it. Like those are the areas that Plarium has leaned into over the last year or two. Uh, so being end game content, like there should be some viable way solutions to get so those ultra scarce resources. I mean, they're they're pricing right now uh, mythical skill tomes so high that if you're if you're lucky enough to actually get your hands on like a Lady Mikage or actually pull a mythical champion, I mean, it's almost more expensive just to even skill them up you know i don't even yep. i don't i only have one mythic i think i have five mythicals on my account and i have one skilled up just because of the cost i'm not i'm not paying 40 dollars a skill tome or whatever the heck it is you know anyway i digress that's number one number two for me is and this is kind of an ambiguous way to put it but i can't think of a better way to articulate it scratch but like i i, I want like some it's cool that you can I, it's not even cool i'm lying but like, it's supposed to be cool that it's open world and you can go any route that you want to. My game just crashed too, I think. No, it didn't. All right. There's just too much going on here. You can go any route that you want to. And, but then like, it doesn't matter at all. Like the only way that's good is just if you get a, if you hit a roadblock, you can go another direction a bit. So like, mm. yeah, that's cool. But I want there to be some sort of a consequence not in a negative yeah. way but like i want to be weighing like strategy around where i'm going and when i'm going and the keys and when i'm in order i'm using it doesn't seem very compelling or strategic at all right it's just like mm. oh i keep going till i hit a roadblock and then i try to go a different direction right so like some sort of you know maybe make better rewards on the map randomly right or something like that you know that you don't have to fight a battle or whatever for or you know like listen man we've been using this three Dun three wave dungeon format since the beginning of raid why not make like a gauntlet or something you know like just give me a different feel how about a 10 stage uh format stage where you really have to think about the champions that you bring in you know like okay maybe you have all your champions available you have to get through 10 stages with two boss battles you know mm. like uh, just give me a something a little bit fresh but the same five three waves of five champions like, dude, I've been doing that since Dungeon 15, since Dra Dragon 15, five years ago, you know? Could you, could you imagine the stage with Mortal Kombat Cups having uh, 10 stages? 
<laughs> well, that I don't want. That that, <laughs> I wouldn't mind if we had like a bit of a more uh, uh, broad champion pool, but a different way to approach the content, yeah. you know? It just yeah, feels yeah. redundant, frankly, to me, you know? At mm. least in the dungeons and Ice Golem and Dragon, etc. there's a boss at the end. That's cool. But just having waves, man, like... Okay, Doom Tower, that was it for me with wave content. It's just not doing it for me anymore. It just I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, so yeah. I would like to see some more compelling uh, outside-the-box ideas in, in the way they present some of this content, you know? Uh, I'm not saying every stage needs to be like that, but throw in different sorts of gameplay. And the double bosses, too, to me, I would love to see those replaced with new bosses, you know? With new bosses. Uh because where else are they going to put new bosses in the game at this point anyway, right? Like, yeah. I would like to see something something new, you know, thoughts on any of that. Yeah, I, I think this is a very flexible game mode, if I can call it like that. You know, I feel yeah. like they have uh, they have a lot of uh, a lot of options do on anything, the table. Yeah. How, yeah, how they set as well, you know. So I know they mentioned, and this probably is uh, something that they mentioned many times. They are working on the next difficulty already, you know, because they know that some people want higher difficulties and they're trying to keep the end game players engaged. Spending. As well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, engaged. Yes, yes, yes. I, I've completed the normal mode as well. And uh, I got to say, I found Sintranos as a normal mode a bit challenging. And not because uh, I, I wasn't able to beat it, but usually you destroy everything on auto or normal mode with. A whale account right yeah this time around i found that is not the case and it's not an issue for me but it's an issue for the people that cannot uh, engage in uh, in the next difficulty and normal mode is just too strong for them on uh, on some of the areas i think okay it's too so you'd hard like to him. see some tweaks made to normal mode uh, yeah i mean well. if you made yeah. a normal mode let it be normal for the people that can only be that you know let them enjoy it too you know let them get some of the the rewards from that as well yeah yeah well we we put a lot of ideas out there i would want to throw it to my audience at this point what what about you guys i mean we threw like i said we threw a lot of from awards to our rewards rather uh to just different potential formats uh you know in terms of the dungeons in terms of everything like that we talked about bosses we talked about difficulty let us know you know because 50 percent of the player base liking the feature is still a lot you know like that's still yep. a lot of people who are enjoying it so i love to hear you know what you enjoy especially if maybe you don't like some of the ideas that we threw out there maybe why they wouldn't work in your estimation uh until then maybe we'll have another collab or something scratch where we can kind of read some feedback and even ask clarion what they thought of the, some of the ideas that we threw out there because yeah obviously huh? this is this is the big update for last year or this year or whatever and now we're going to be getting you know, it sounds like Guild Wars this year or Clan Wars this year. Uh, so uh, I think so. I think they had that plan for last year. So I would assume that it's coming this year. Yeah, yeah. And they so, haven't really said nothing about them, but I'm looking forward to, yeah. to see if they're giving us any any juice about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very interested to see like what sort of their allocation at Plarium is going into this update versus or making improving Curse City versus you know working on 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 Clan Wars and and whatever's coming next in kind of a PvP or Clan versus Clan aspect. But anyway guys, looking forward to your feedback below. We're going to do a collab on Scratch's channel right now as well. So Scratch, I will see you over there. See you guys as well. The link will be in the description below. Thanks for coming on Scratch. Appreciate it, man.